Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Chanel Mitchell. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, October 14th, 2022. Let's take a brain break. Wow, I really needed that moment to breathe. Now let's go learn a new word with words of the day. Hey Santiago, have you met my friend? She has many admirable qualities. What's one of them? She's super honest and will never lie to you. Oh, that's a great quality. I would love to meet her. Oh, she would love that. Another of her admirable qualities is that she's really friendly, so you guys will get along. Oh, that's great. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the, of the Day. day. Now let's check out our Hispanic Heritage Highlights with Nia. Thank you, Chanel. Come to my Patriots. Today in history, we're going to talk about Gloria Estefan. Gloria Estefan is a Cuban-American singer, actress, and businesswoman. Gloria is a seven-time Grammy Award winner, a Presidential Medal of Freedom recipient, and has been named one of the top 100 greatest artists of all time. Her first album as a solo artist, Cuts Both Ways, became an immediate bestseller, and now she's one of the legendary Cuban singers. You might recognize her voice from the movie Vivo as Marta. She made a huge impact on the Hispanic and Latin community. My favorite song from her is definitely Conga. Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is chicken pepperoni pizza, garden chicken salad, baby carrot, ranch, fruit cocktail, and your chest and milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time. And always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let you just know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's get back to Chanel. Thank you, Jasmine. I can't wait for lunch. K through second, we are counting on you to finish up your lessons for this instructional software challenge. You will need 20 minutes weekly in Lexia and 25 past lessons in iReady Math. Now for you, third through eighth, your mission is to have 25 past lessons in iReady Reading and 25 past lessons in Imagine Math. This challenge ends on Thursday, October 20th for all grades. We know you can do it. Students, the candy drive is still ongoing and ends soon. Please keep on bringing in bags of wrapped candy that can be donated to the fall festival. Rewards will be given to the teachers and classes with the most candy donated. We thank all of you for your donations. The fall festival is coming up soon on October 29th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be fun and exciting Halloween activities. Pre-sale tickets and ticket bundles are now on sale on My School Bucks. I know I can't wait to go. Boograms are on sale. The fun bundles are sure to surprise your friends. There are three cool gram bundles to choose from. I'm definitely getting my friends one of these. Teachers, the Hispanic Heritage Bulletin Board Contest is ending soon, so let's keep on working on those festive boards. The winner will be announced on October 20th and will win a special prize. Patriots, the Hispanic Heritage Show is on Wednesday, October 19th. Come by to take a journey to Encanto. Doors will be open at 5.30 p.m. and tickets will be $5 cash per person at the door. This performance is sure to be great. K-5th. through the Barnyard Dance is coming up on Friday, October 28th, and the entry price is $5. I hope you're all excited to dress up and have some fun. Sports fans, the final call for girls basketball tryouts will be on Tuesday, October 18th from 3.30 to 5 o'clock p.m. If you are trying out, make sure to have your grade check sheet and completed physical packet. 
Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure that you have your phone shut down and in your backpack at all times. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Sophia. Thanks, Chanel. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is going to be 83 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Instead of going out, maybe stay in and read a book. In other weather news, 44 pure gold coins were unearthed in the city of Banias of the Golan Heights, Israel. Archaeologists uncovered something fascinating. Beautiful gold coins were found stashed in a stone wall. They feature some Byzantine emperors named Pocus and Heracles. It's not revealed how exactly the coins were found, but nonetheless, still an amazing discovery. Now let's go to Destiny for the birthdays. Thank you, Sophia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Jason Bernadine, Giovanni Lavelle, Maribel Martinez, and Brianna Mitchell. And for our weekend birthdays, Malik Shaid, Tatiana Wadley, Anise Watson, Srivath Jilla, Vaughn White, Pablo Espinoza, Alfred Martinez, and Adrian Robinson. Happy birthday. Now let's go to Melanie for Let's Talk. Good morning, Peaches, and welcome back to Let's Talk. My name is Melanie, and we're here today with Principal Cavell. Thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having me. So we have some questions today. Okay. To start off, how do you feel when you were given the opportunity to be a principal? Um, I think I was excited. I think I was a little bit nervous. Um, I think anytime anybody goes into a new role, um, right, it changes a little bit and changes how you feel. But overall, I was really excited. Having been with Pines for so long, I was excited to take on something new and remain with the students. What does your role here as a principal involve? What doesn't it involve, I think, is the better question. Um, I think all around, there are so many roles that encompass being a principal. I think one of the main things, um, you know, really is being there for the safety of the students and the teachers and the staff. Um, but there is a, a very long list of things that involve being a principal, from academics to helping students to being outside in the cafeteria, school culture. So there's a really long list. It's a big job. Do you like being a principal? I love being a principal. So you might know this is our last interview for Hispanic Heritage Month. So you could tell us a bit about where you're from. Okay, when it comes to Hispanic heritage, my family, my mom is from Colombia. She's from Medellin, so I do have some Hispanic culture in me. Um, I don't speak Spanish, unfortunately. I understand it pretty well, but I don't speak it. Um, but that's just about where my family is from. Being the principal of the school, what do you hope to achieve with Hispanic Heritage Month this year? I think what I would hope to achieve is what I would want for any culture that we're celebrating, for us just to know a little bit more about it, us to celebrate the culture for the students, for the parents, for the staff, really just to make sure that everybody feels involved. Thank you for your amazing response. Now for the lightning round. What's your favorite Hispanic food? Oh, what is my favorite Hispanic food? Um, I would say empanadas is probably my favorite. What's your favorite Latin music style? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't really know. I kind of just listen to anything, to be honest with you, in terms of that. I, maybe what's on the radio, but I don't really have a favorite. Would you rather be five minutes late or 30 minutes early? 30 minutes early. <laughs> 30 minutes early, everybody. <laughs> Latin time or American time? American time. I don't run on Latin time. I'm always on time or early. Would you rather open your Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve midnight or on Christmas morning? So growing up, I opened them Christmas Eve midnight, but as I've gotten older, I open them on Christmas Day. Same. Outstanding answers. Thank you, Ms. Cavell, for joining us today. Make sure you say hello to her in the hallways. Now let's go back to Chanel. Thank you, Melanie. What a great interview. Patriots, we have some fun pictures to share with you from Red Ribbon Week, so let's take a look around with news around the school. Hit you with the blink. Hit you with the tricks. Thank you. We got it. We got a pizza for the Walk for me, 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 walk for me,
That was awesome. I loved all your cool outfits. Teachers, please continue uploading any interesting photos or videos into News Around the School's OneDrive folder so we can keep highlighting everything going on around our school and in your classrooms. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Reynolds and Ms. Carey. The correct answer was the bus is going left because the bus door is on the right. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! What kind of ship has two mates but no captain? Teachers, please send your answers to pinestarrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day and a fabulous weekend.